Hi everyone, it's Stacey here from Student Pulse and YXL with another 10 minute Classroom Booster to maximize your wellbeing for learning. Today we're looking at Classroom Booster number five, my learning achievement and challenge, which is a way to lift up your ability to achieve, one of the big four factors in your wellbeing for learning. Let's go. Why bother? You know we're always gonna give you a reason. How else would we motivate you to do it? Your scorecard has shown that you guys want help in maintaining or improving your grades. Of course you do. Who doesn't want or need help in this space? And when we make time to actively think and talk about what went well in our learning and what was a challenge, we're actually way more likely to reach our goals. And did you know that just by writing these down, you are 10 times more likely to achieve them? True facts. So we're gonna share these learning successes and challenges with our classmates because it is fun. But importantly, we're also gonna come up with more ideas and strategies about how to overcome these challenges. And by sharing your goals with someone, you are 10 times more likely to try to achieve them. Yep, that's like 100 times more success just by doing this booster. So listen up because this is how it's gonna work. Total times is just gonna be 10 minutes. Step one, you're gonna have two minutes to think in silence on your own about something that went well in your learning. Did you finally get something or create a draft that you're proud of or complete all your homework on time? Whatever that success was, write it down. Next, think about a challenge. Did you stay quiet when you didn't understand or did you game or watch Netflix instead of do your homework or revise? Or maybe you just struggled to get a concept and didn't ask for help. Whatever that challenge was, write it down. I'm gonna let your teacher set a two minute timer now and pause this video now. So you've got those successes and challenges written down, great. Step two is to talk to your elbow partner, share your success and talk about your challenge. In this step, you get two minutes each, which of course is a total time of four minutes to firstly celebrate the success. And then, and this is important, help each other with ideas on how to overcome that challenge. Do you have a tip on scheduling study time or have a cool way to remember a formula that your friend struggled with? Share it. This is gold for our goal of achieving better grades or maintaining the ones we have. I'm gonna let your teacher pause the clip now for four minutes. How'd you go? Plenty of high fives or secret handshakes on those successes? Were you able to help with that challenge? Great stuff. All right, almost there, final step coming. And remember, this is where we're gonna have an even bigger chance of solving our problem and committing to action. It's time to share as a group. Step three is to do a whip around the room. You'll have a whole four minutes as a class to share what you've just learned. While this is happening, you'll be listening out for any student who has a similar challenge and has figured out an awesome strategy to help. Make sure you write this down because writing it down gives you a 10 times better chance at making it happen. So that's our last step. Go for it, guys. That four minute pause happening now. So that was Classroom Booster number five. Well done, guys. I'll see you next time when you're working on your well-being for learning. Bye.